Hey guys, so sorry for the atrocious lighting, but it's about 4.30 and it's that time of the day where the sun's kind of lowering in the sky and it comes right in my window. So it's too bright to film with right in front of the window with no curtains, so I have to put the curtains down and kind of try and balance the light. So sorry if it's a bit crazy, but luckily the lighting doesn't have to be perfect for this video. Now, hopefully this is only going to be a short video um, and it's going to be on the March Glossy Box, which was the Harrods edition. Now, the reason why I hope it's going to be short is because I've talked about it on my blog already and I will put a link to that below, to the right page below. Um, already kind of expressing my opinions on it, but I thought I would show you on here anyway. I'll just show you what I got in it. Um, so first, I've already unpacked it all, but first it comes with a Harrods booklet thing, Age Defying Skincare. Again, not to, well, not again, because I haven't said anything yet, but um, basically this is about what, like, like it says, age defying skincare, but not really yet. very interesting to me, but you might find it interesting. Then we have the box. It's a white box and it's glossy. It's a glossy finish, like the Valentine's Day box. This is quite exciting because now I have four different coloured boxes. <laughs> we have the Christmas of Valentine, the last normal fashion week one, and then this one. That's what the bo box looks like. Um, and it comes with that and the glossy box received 20% off selected beauty products at harrods.com on the back with a code and then it opens up like that now what I have noticed is one they haven't told you what size you've got on this so they'll say on the products so are not on this and two they haven't said the cost of the full size product so I don't know if that's something new they're doing because people have been complaining that they haven't got the same value boxes as everyone else or whether it's just for this um, particular box but anyway so the first thing I got is the Narc Narciso I can't say it um, Rodriguez for her Eau de Perfume Perfume um, for her is Narciso Rodriguez's first perf fragrance a tribute to women's grace and the power of inspiration. Now, my mum loves this perfume, so I actually quite like it as well. But the size of the sample is atrocious, guys. This is 1 ml, the smallest of all the perfume samples that you could have received. I've checked them all out. Um, and to be honest, you could get this free. I don't know why they expect me to pay for this. You get this free when you order things online. You Like... No one would pay for this. This is ridiculous. Like, it's handy to have in your, in your purse, but I think something this size should have been, like, a sixth item, like an extra. This, I don't think this qualifies as a full, as one of the five items, so I'm really kind of annoyed about that because that is not worth anything, really. Um, yeah, it's a nice scent, but one ml, not really, you know, up to standard, so a bit disappointed about that. Other people got some nice fragrances, um, I was talking to Caroline or Beauty Fix 101. She was saying that she got, I um, can't remember which perfume she got, but hers is 4ml and she was still disappointed with the size of that. This one's a 1ml, so not too impressed. The second one is a Molten Brown Heavenly Ginger Lily Moisture Bath and Shower. Really glossy box, another bath product. This is the third month in a row that I've received a shower gel. Yes, Molten Brown is really nice. It's a really nice company. It's good quality. It's expensive, but I don't need any more shower gels. I haven't even got through the first one, never mind the second one, and now this one. Um, what does it smell like? It smells quite nice. You know, nothing crazy. It might just give it to my mum. Um, to be honest, most of the stuff in this box, I would be inclined to give to my mom so it's kind of like a mother's day box because this is ridiculous yeah it smells nice but I really didn't need another um, shower gel this is the third month in a row <laughs> now last last month people were complaining about that but and I just like okay I didn't mind the one last month I was like okay I've only had two in a row but the third in a row it's getting a bit you know ridiculous 
think you could come up with something a bit different. Now the third product is one that annoys me as well because when you sign up for Glossy Box you do like your own personal profile where you, you kind of tell them what skin tone you have, what age you are, if you prefer makeup, if you prefer fragrances, if you prefer skin tone, skin tone, skin care. And the next thing I got is YSL Forever Youth Liberator Serum. A powerful serum enriched with three glycans, sorry, to help increase youthful activity in skin cells. Now, why make us do these profiles if you're not gonna listen to them? Does it look like I need this? I'm 18 years old and they've given me this forever anti-wrinkle serum. Now I was looking in the magazine thing they gave us and that product is featured on the page about in your 40s. I'm 18, <laughs> like what is this? This is ridiculous. Again, talking to Caroline, she also got two anti Oh no, she got two firming products, which is anti-age as well, and we're both 18, and it's like, if you're not going to listen to us, then why, like, why even bother? Um, so this is another one for my mum, um, and this is 5ml. This one's still in its box, because I don't even, I took everything out, out of the packaging, because I was going to use it, but this one, like, seriously? So... I was really annoyed because last month I was really standing up for Glossy Box. I really enjoyed my last month. It was my favourite. And everyone was starting to be like, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe. This is going downhill. But I'm like, no, come on. And I was really excited for this limited edition one. They put so much. They made it so hyped up. And it's just a bit of a disappointment for me, if I'm honest. Um, but anyway, the next product is the only product I was excited about and the only product I'm really happy with. And it's the Burberry Beauty Miniature Lip Mist um, in copper number 202 it looks like this really gorgeous packaging I think I'm gonna have to pick up a full size one of these and it's really pretty I did swatch on my blog it's like a really glossy nude don't know how well you're gonna see this but again I swatched it on my blog um, so yeah this is the only thing I'm really happy with but again it's a mini it's not like a full size and the last thing is the full size product. As you know, I don't think it even is the full size product. I don't think we got a full size product, which is not great because they usually put at least one full size product in. But this one's a decent amount anyway. And so the Clarins Extra Firming Body Cream. Okay, cream, I have dry skin, fair play. But then it goes on to say, a, a formula rich in regenerating and firming plant extracts which immediately helps to lift and tone for firmer skin and a younger looking body. Again, I am 18. How much longer do you, younger do you want me to look? And I was talking about this with Caroline and she got two firming products. So it's like, please just read the profiles. This is really ridiculous. So what, what do you think I'm gonna do with all these anti-aging products? I'm basically gonna give away, I'm basically gonna give this maybe this or maybe this up to my mum then I'm only left with this one ml thing and this which is the only nice thing in the box so you know I'm just hoping they redeem themselves next month um but yeah I don't think it was worth the 12.50 or whatever however much you pay um but I actually think I was quite well off I was talking to Caroline again she got three creams two of them firming and one of them for her face, I think. A fragrance sample. And she didn't even get the Burberry lipstick, which I think was the only good thing to come in pretty much any of the boxes. She got a Lancome Juicy Tube. Um, and I think this was a lot better. So I think they're, they're kind of slacking a bit. I don't think Glossy Box are delivering like they should. Um, in the first few boxes they released, they were amazing. I wish I was I had subscribed to them then. But they're kind of going downhill for me, so I really hope they pick it up. Otherwise, you know, I may be unsubscribing. So tell me what you think. If you got a different box to me, if you got the same box as me, were you happy with yours? I know lots of people were happy with theirs. The same situation last month. I loved mine and lots of people were unhappy with theirs. So what do you guys think about your boxes? Um, uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.